Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to find out why it is that your snow and skiing shots look like gray muddy messes. Hey David, I just got some film back that I shot during my family's ski trip this past winter and I was looking at it and all of the images of snow look like gray slush. Why is that? Good question. It has to do with the way your light meter works. Now if you've seen the last two weeks videos, you saw in the first one how it is that the light meters see the world as a flat gray. In the last video we, we talked about the zone system and how that flat gray is in the middle. So if you're out in a, in a skiing situation, there's a lot of white around, a lot of snow around, your light meter thinks that snow is a flat gray, but really it's up here in like a zone 8, 9, or 10. So if you're going to take skiing shots that actually look like skiing shots and the snow is white and puffy and whatever else, then you need to overexpose your images. Whites look gray when there's not enough light reflecting off of them. So next time you're out skiing and you have your camera and you want to take pictures, or next time you're out in the snow in general and you want to take pictures and have the snow look white, try adjusting your exposure up by two or three stops. That means if your camera is telling you f5.6 and 1 1 25th of a second, try it at 1 30th or 1 15th or 1 1 25th at f maybe 2.8 or f2. You need to throw more photons onto your film or sensor to make the whites look white instead of gray. Alternatively, what you can do is you can overexpose your film intentionally and process it properly. What that means is if you have a 400 ISO film, set the meter to 100 ISO, but process it like a 400 ISO film. As long as all of your shots are in the snow, that will work. If you mix indoor and outdoor shots, you're going to end up with a mess. So if you're going to do it that way, make sure you're shooting all of your frames in one setting, which is outside in the snow. If your camera has an exposure compensation dial on it, for the time when you're outside in the snow, you can adjust that up two stops, three stops maybe if your camera will go that far. Uh, and that way your camera will automatically throw more light onto the film or sensor than it would otherwise. That's why your, your snow shots turned out gray, and that's how to fix the issue. 